What's going on? Come right in, why don't you? You're probably wanting a tour of my villa. This is why you're here. Well, we are in the Maldives. This is Raffles Maldives. If you're ever in the need of a luxury vacation, this is the only spot to come to. My personal recommendation. We're gonna do a quick tour of this place and then get into some tutorials. Let's go. You told me you believe in something and you say the bedroom this is the hallway this is a drum set there's walk-in closets and then there's walk-in bathtubs apparently gotta have a big bathtub first bed second bed third bed third bed and my favorite, favorite spot. This is what I've been dreaming of. I think everybody dreams of this all their lives, where in the backyard, you have a beach. Let's talk about one of my favorite little flourishes to do, the ring roll. And it looks like this. Take a ring and just roll it on the fingers like this. Just kind of look off into the sunset. Just be a badass. So the ring roll itself is something that I do. I wear rings all the time. And this is something that I do just naturally without even thinking about it. I think it's a cool way to just sit back, relax, and just do it while you're drinking a beer out of a wine glass. This is a necessity. Uh, and you're just like that, look at that, all right? So, it's very easy to learn. So let's show you what's going on here. Now, I'm gonna use two types of rings and they're gonna differ just a little bit. The only thing that's gonna differ about it is that a, a ring that's more like a wedding ring that has no head, right? This is like a big head. We'll go all the way to the pinky so you can actually do the pinky and back. Uh, and these ones, the, with the bigger ring, I just do to the fourth finger. Um, you can do it to the pinky, but it's just gonna go back and rotate. So you can do it, but it's just a little bit harder. Okay, so what's going on? I'm gonna use this style ring uh, for explanation purposes. Now you're gonna hold it first between the thumb and the first finger, all right? And then we're gonna get it all the way to the pinky and back, all right? So thumb, first finger first, and then you're just gonna practice this, all right? This is the only move that you have to learn, and you have to learn this between each finger. So I think before practicing anything like that, just get the ring, place it in between any two fingers, and practice going back and forth like this with it, all right? It does take a knack because you'll see that it does drop, uh, especially in the beginning, right? So you just need it as a knack for you to get it here, then place it in here, and just do that as well. Get that down, place it here, do this as well, go back and forth, and that's all you have to do, this as well. So now that you have each finger going back and forth, you could get accustomed to actually placing it in between the first two fingers, rolling it as much as you can to the right side towards your pinky, and then grab it with the middle finger. Now the thumb is gonna let go. So now guess what? Now it's in between these two fingers, but we've already practiced this. So now it's in between these two fingers. Now you're gonna go and place it on the ring finger. So you're gonna go all the way to the right, place it on the ring finger, and then again, get rid of the first finger. And now guess what? We already know this because we've done this from the very beginning, and then so on and so forth to each finger, okay? So back and forth. So as long as you know this motion in between the fingers, you are good to go, all right? So start here. Place the middle finger, get rid of the thumb, and back and forth. Then place it on the ring finger, get rid of the first finger, back, towards the right. Then place it on the pinky, get rid of the middle finger, 
and away. And then the last one goes to nothing, unless you have six fingers, and then back. And now you're gonna go back, place it on the third finger, get rid of the pinky, back, place it on the first finger, get rid of the ring finger, and so on and so forth, all right? And it's just a rhythm kind of thing. So start small and slow, and then you'll get accustomed to doing it faster and faster, okay? Like I said, for me, I like to do it just on these four fingers because it's easier. See, when you get to the pinky, it'll like rotate, right? You could see here, when I get to the, when I get to the pinky, it rotates around, so now it's backwards. So it just takes a fraction of a second more, so that's why I like to do it just to the fourth finger. And that's it. So that is the coin roll. taking a boat to the water villas that are in construction but they wanted to give us a private tour this is gonna be awesome let's go Let me show you what we are doing here. We're actually doing a photo shoot with a floating breakfast. My new friend over here is going to show you what we have and what we're gonna do. So we have a fruit platter. Uh -huh. We also have a bread basket with muffins and other kind of croissants. Goes with uh, butter and also different variety of uh, jams. Nice. Well, what are we gonna do, a photo shoot? We're gonna do a photo shoot. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's talk about coin roll. Coin roll is one of those cool things that you can do. You don't necessarily have to do any magic uh, or anything like that, but you can just do this and really just stand out. And this is really what all of these little things are, just for you to stand out from the average person that you know how to do something cool and they don't, haha. <laughs> all right, so the coin roll in slow motion is just going on the knuckles like that, and there's a few ways to kind of get it back around, and then you could continuously do that or throw it into the other hand and go, here you go here's your tip so how does this work well the first thing that you want to do is learn how to balance the coin now I'm using a half dollar here but of course you can use there's a medium size that you would want something like a penny would be too small something anything larger than this I think you would have a little bit of trouble doing it um, so with the quarter quarter also works very nicely I think the quarter is my favorite to do it with because the rhythm is really nice and I could I, I don't have to have like these sort of sometimes you would get like this and then it would get caught up because either it's too too big or if it's too small it might fall in between the fingers so first I would just practice balancing the coin on each finger like this okay just to get that balance point right for the particular coin that you're gonna use so I'm just gonna start here kind of move around a little bit start here all right that's good because when you're doing it and if you're getting caught up you want it to not fall and just to be balanced on the whatever finger that you are uh, currently on so you're gonna start off by just balancing it on the thumb okay you're gonna show it like this and then you're gonna go into balancing it on the thumb thumb is also very important because that's what you're gonna use to bring it around so on and so forth so the thumb is here now you're just gonna sort of kick it and then you're gonna put it on that first knuckle all right and we know this already because we know how to balance that coin you're gonna push it a little bit so that now it's sort of touching the middle finger. So you're gonna push it until it touches the middle finger and the middle finger is gonna go up a little bit. So from here to up a little bit, grab that coin, you can feel it now. And now the first finger is gonna go up. First finger goes up and the middle finger down. So you're kind of doing one of these things, okay? With the knuckles bent or the fingers bent rather. Now it's gonna balance on this one. And again, we know this because we practice balancing. You're gonna kick this up a little bit with the first finger until it touches the third finger, the ring finger right over here. I'm gonna kick it up, ring finger goes up, grabs that coin, and then now the middle finger is gonna go up, kicking this coin further. And now it's gonna be on this finger, and now again, you're going to put pressure on the middle finger so that the coin touches the pinky. Pinky is gonna pull it up, and at that point, from here, 
this is where you stop. You obviously don't have any more fingers to do this on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sort of let the pressure drop so that the coin drops in between your hands a little bit, halfway, okay? And then that thumb, that good old thumb is gonna come around, grab the coin from here. So it's gonna touch the pinky, grabbing the coin, and now you're gonna balance it just like that on that finger and bring it around. So you're bringing it literally from here to here, from here back to here, okay? To do it again, if you do want to do it again. Uh, you don't need to, from here you can just let it drop into the other hand and then pick it up and give it to whomever. Or if you're just doing it, you can do it continuously. If you feel that you can't get it to drop down in the pinky, all right, if you feel like the pressure's not there and it's not dropping down, you can just tilt down and then catch it like that, okay? So that is the coin roll. Sometimes you'll see that that just happened right there. It'll skip a finger. It'll move like from here and it'll just slide down and then you just grab it with this. So it's really gonna be a case-by-case -case basis of how it's gonna go. And sometimes this part gets up, so you wanna sort of give it a swing with the hand and, and that's it, you know? So you just play around with that and once you get the basics down, then the speed will come. So it's like that. Yep, good, perfect. Bam. All right guys, that was it, that was the video. Thank you so much for sticking around, watching, learning something, and taking this little journey with me to the Maldives. I'll leave Raffles link down below in case you are in the need of a luxury vacation. This is the one and only spot you gotta go to. I'm gonna go enjoy this movie night that they set up for us. Look at this, this is amazing. Comment down below your favorite movie, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.